all right guys welcome back welcome back crystal lights to crystal display um so today we're gonna do a random question q a today i'll be taking over yes i'm that voice from beyond the beyond uh today i'll be asking her some questions that we've gotten from persons we placed on instagram you know we've got it in the dm so a lot of persons ask to be anonymous so, so i have my co-star here her husband yeah we are david yes sir please just stand over there so we'll be asking some random questions that we've gotten from the insta so question one what's your favorite color um my favorite color is purple <laughs> question two what? you like money in a uniform if so your husband wear uniform Money in uniform police firefighter oh, them them the, you want me to go um, further i'm going to do it further uh, pilot the man who fly room not really i just like i'm not a person I, I i just rather for example i don't know i rather personality wise so not really many in uniform okay so <laughs> one more question here uh what would be the ideal type of job for you the ideal type of job yeah that one day you um, do for make money well i mean mm -hmm. <laughs> the ideal type of job i would like so i like you know no i mean no um but well, some people are gonna know still <laughs> anyway the ideal type of job of, uh, i would like is me owning my business and working for myself not yeah. bad not bad so uh our next question is how did you survive these years in a long distance relationship it seems impossible not everybody knew i was in a long distance relationship Your school number no answer question um how did i survive well well number one definitely communication lots of communication most of the time you work on care <laughs> like talk communication i mean like different social media platform um talking every day and mention more the video chat to me if you're closer yeah to you with the body. video chat too so mm -hmm. text video chat people sorry if you need to do it the comic relief is it definitely communication and understanding and trust those three things you said trust isn't that very hard yeah, yeah like, it's hard like the but the time when you see me feel like one hour and you swear to God says something happen okay that's not trust that's be, me being worried women like of your safety that was it nothing else mm, that's not the wrong to school oh, no man okay yeah I give people the attitude yeah sure I'm not giving about the attitude I'm just there though anyway mm -hmm. next question alright I'm going to ask the next question I don't know yes <clears throat> so the person say you have any tips are tricks how you can help for find a good man out there because uh, the person seems really to have trouble question. finding a good man what are some signs some signs find a good man yeah because them say it seems like you have a good is this a relationship question a random question oh, or man, random. anything goes fine um but try child keep it as church friendly as possible <laughs> maybe uh good man out there well there's not much <laughs> that's what i'm ever saying you have to look very carefully um just make sure that the person genuine they're not look you know they're not looking you they mean they're not be wanting to become your uh, partner for other reasons make sure it's genuine reasons um you know you know like those gold diggers out there you know so don't be like that <laughs> all right people should answer questions so answer answer question, question, yeah. just being genuine tips okay. and tricks to find a good man one just make sure the guy genuine look for intentions yeah where intentions. his intention lies that mean? and that's what you are going to do two look for how Hello. much you care for you see how that, far me go for you isn't that what i meant intention why me kind of slow sometimes so when you say it that way you never get it at all all right pass. next question you know me i don't point to a few people I'm go ahead my my fling my shoes on. Alright, you hurry up then. Time oh, around now. <laughs> that me I tell you. Mm, three people. You have to look on it. If you're willing to spend on you, he's a good man. That not always because you try to keep money rule of four. 
Check out him deal with him mother. If you see same man, him oh, yeah, deal with good, you know him and you know I don't know why you're hiding from the camera, but anyway. Listen, too much um, of the camera crowd, you think. This so is called crystal anyway, display. People. Yeah, make sure that if the guy treat if the guy treat his mom well, that means he will treat you well. So that that's but now go take over your show. Anyway, next question, Just time or not. Literally time around. Okay, so you, you can stop having your lover's squad or squabble. Okay, so the next question is Yeah, I'm ready. If you're married, what was it like after the ceremony? What? If you were married what was it like after the ceremony? After I got married? Yeah, after a ceremony, or you did feel. Nah, Jesus. How would you feel? Yeah. But you feel relieved because mm -hmm. ah, getting married is a lot of stress. I mean, it's good that I got married, but what I'm saying is like leading up to the wedding, it was so stressful for both of us, me and my husband. It was very stressful. So it was like, as soon as we get married, it was like a complete relief. Flood of relief, and finally we get it over with. Like people work on them things, and it's easy when it comes to um getting married. But yeah, we did it. So yeah, next question. You just have fly three questions. Come on, look, look on it. There's a time. You know, never mind. Good. There's a time. People enjoy me troublemaking. Yes, you. Okay, right, so question. um, <laughs> on for the next question. Uh, this person here says, "Oh, you from Africa? Cause your 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 dressing and your looks more what looks like you're you're African. Can you just clear that up for us, please?" Um, I'm Jamaican. It's just that I you like. Me right now. It's just that I like to um style my hair with different type of scarves, you know, mm -hmm. as African fashion, af as fashion. Mm -hmm. So. I think you're African too. Uganda. Yeah. But some Nigeria. people some people say that I look um Gambia. Some people say that I look Ghanaian or mm -hmm. Nigerian, but I'm Jamaican. I was born in Jamaica, so Yeah, we have the next question dog. What's the next up? question? So <laughs> since, since we realize say uh, this person asking if what was it like to be on a plane? Was it scary? What was your expectation? How was your first trip? And what was it like to be on a plane for the first time? How was my experience? Um, I'm going to say, when the plane got up, me I pray, Jesus help me. On the plane, <laughs> on the plane, okay, fine. The plane did fine in the, you know, when I go straight. But when I go to land, I say, Jesus, please. Because <laughs> I've heard so much bad news um well sad news that people die on the plane and stuff but so with same with car and stuff but i was just more anxious with flying because it was my first time I never fly before in my life but no i travel every year so it's that normal thing but i still pray make sure i pray before me while i'm on, on the plane and after i'm come off the plane watch out i got asked a jamaican question you know okay right Okay, people, what he mean is that he's going to ask something that a Jamaican person would ask. Sound that better, say? Yo, so... Why you give so much trouble in your background, yo? Just cool, no, man. So, hey. my Jamaican friend asked, how would the pothole in the sky did feel? By pothole, he means turbulence in the sky, people. There, there was... I didn't really... Ex okay, I only one time experienced turbulence, but it wasn't that bad. It was just like a little bit... You know, when Jamaican people say things about patrol in the sky, I laugh off of them and I'm Jamaican. I don't know what's on a patrol. I don't say a turbulence in the boat. You have to clarify for some of the Jamaican people. You can't even mean it. A patrol, you have a feel of patrol. Time I run out. Ah, Jesus. Okay, okay, <laughs> people. So the next question is. Yes. How many kids do you want? I don't know how to business. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah, no. joke, we don't want to be rude, but um, people, me they go for your football team, but we can't afford them, so yeah, we have to go cut it down dramatically. Hello, you don't just say, guys, that's a personal question, that's all I need to say, nothing else. What person is that you have one already? One down, a few more to go. Just personal me. question, people that's on a good next, me, you know. next. So, this person is saying that. Mm -hmm. If you were to be a car, what car do you think you would be? 
Initially, it was a Mercedes, but I mean, if you like a Lamborghini, you know, but me too slow. Me change my mind. Me not want a Mercedes no more. I would be a big car name. But one Jeep? Yeah, the Jeep. Look how you sleep, my mother. You find your box and go, you're not a Jeep. I'll be the black Jeep. Yeah. You don't even pass your mini Cooper hood. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a Fiat before. I wanted a Fiat, but I'm changing my mind. When I asked you what you want, I said, What car would you be? Oh, I'll be a Jeep. But you can't even pass me a Mini Cooper, so if you be a Jeep. Can you hurry up? I only five minutes from Abilene. Okay, people. <laughs> Jesus. You know what they say? Anytime you're in a one platform, people I'm a lover here, I'm a, I'm a life and I'm a wife. I saw we get trouble. Please, can you just hurry up, please? Next question, next question. You know what I feel like, man? Don't, don't even bother ask me to take that one here. <coughs> okay. Look on the timer or no. Don't oh, rush me. Alright, then fine. Good. One of my friends them asks mm-hmm. if you and your husband ever bex, what are the solution you take to squash it out fast so you can go back to so that relationship question? You know matter a random question, um, don't answer. Alright. For squash for squash, um well what I would do I would do let him cool off at first obviously because there's no point in you talking to somebody who's still upset with you so make them cool off and then come back and if me know something wrong then I apologize but if if me not wrong then um you know i'm just come back and sweet him up <laughs> it's all them things there. that's what i do about, you know, you see? that's then what i do, away, do but away, one, one up, th- but one thing i learned though like when you get upset if you're upset with your partner um don't ever go to your bed upset because it only uh, get worse so try to fix it or uh, come to a resolution before you go to your bed yeah. okay that was lovely so we have a final question for you yeah right. uh this is actually a very awesome question okay. uh, this person says it seems that you you truly endorse christianity and you're really strong in your faith. Uh, how do you go about with, with the worldly items? Have you ever once stopped to think that you've given up these worldly things for for Christian? Is it worth it? Worldly things, like what worldly behavior and stuff. Yeah, like oh. sex outside of marriage, like money, like care, like them physical things. But nothing is. The thing is, yeah, nothing is wrong with sex. Nothing is wrong with money. It's just the way. People not wrong with sex outside of marriage. It wrong outside of marriage here. Yeah. It's wrong outside of marriage, but it's okay in marriage. But sometimes money, wrong money no, this. money no. If you love it more than God, that's how, how it become wrong because you love it above God, so that become an idol. So nothing is wrong with sex and nothing is wrong with money. It's just the way your heart posture towards those two things. Really. It's in the way you go about stuff, eh? Yeah. yeah. So the Bible clearly says it anyway. Um, and what was that a Christian? But Christian, why I choose? Why do I choose to be a Christian? No, but ask, is it worth it? It's yeah. worth it because to give up ah, like the world. It's not I really think. giving it up, but it's just like when you accept Jesus, it just he just makes your life easier because I've I've well, I may not even say backslide, but I guess so. You, I I turned back before and I've seen my before my life was just going down in turmoil and going coming back to jesus actually changed my life and i want other people to experience that so that's why i made this channel was it a part of being turned me have one minute left one well, minute one last question turn back as in you turn away from god or you just have a part in your life i guess, in life, you I, have guess the I guess i life. had the lowest point in my life no I, I did not i did not step away i just didn't communicate so that means that you had a low yeah low point mm, yeah. Well, people, one more question come where last question we run out that question let me ask you one though the time i run out how do you keep so lovely jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> i'm a husband <laughs> i am me and that's not here you now anyway <laughs> all right guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye <laughs>